This is a Chemical Kinetics podcast talking about chain reactions, which now thermal explosions will be defined and discussed. In the next couple of slides, a simple system will be analyzed. The heat source is generated by a set of reactions, and the heat sink is a wall at a constant temperature. If the heat is generated faster than the absorption by the walls, then the system accumulates heat and an explosion is possible. To examine the problem a bit more quantitatively, a simple system is set up. A set of exothermic reactions occur within a closed vessel with the walls at a certain temperature. The chemical reactions with rates dependent on temperature produce heat and contribute to the increase of the temperature of the system. The walls of the system are kept at a certain temperature. How much heat they absorb or give off is proportional to the difference in temperature within the vessel and the walls. The amount of heat L that is conducted between one system and another, in this case a wall and the inside of a vessel, is proportional to the difference of temperature, system temperature and the wall temperature. One can imagine that the amount of heat is also proportional to the amount of contact between the wall and the inside of the vessel where the reactions occur. Hence the term S over V per unit volume, where S and V are the surface area and the volume of the vessel, respectively. In addition, the amount of heat transport is uh, dependent upon the substances involved. Thus, there is a heat transfer coefficient, H. The sign of the temperature determines, determines the direction of the heat. The heat R produced by the reactions can be represented simply by the net rate of reaction and the net molar heat of production. Two cases can be isolated. If the heat release of the reactions is greater than the absorption of the walls, the wall won't absorb enough heat and the temperature increases. If the wall absorption is greater, then the heat is taken out of the system and then there is a temperature decrease. The heat release of a set of reactions is dependent on temperature. This is depicted as the red line in the diagram. As the temperature increases, the amount of heat release increases. Note that it is nonlinear. The walls, acting as a large heat sink, try to stabilize the temperature to a given temperature. With no source of heat, the temperature within the vessel would tend toward the wall temperature. The blue line represents the rate of heat that the wall is capable of absorbing from the system. Below the blue line, the rate of heat absorption of the wall is greater, so the system tends to the temperature of the wall because the wall can absorb the heat faster. In the case that the reactions produce more heat than the walls can absorb, then it can be expected that the temperature increases. Starting at temperature 1, it increases toward temperature 4, the wall temperature. When it reaches the wall temperature, then there is a balance between production and absorption, so the temperature is constant. With the case that the wall absorbs more heat than the reactions produce, then it can be expected that the thermal explosion does not occur. The wall keeps the process in check. If the walls absorb more heat, then the overall temperature of the process decreases, progressively from step 1 to step 6. The temperature settles to where the heat loss equals the heat production by the reactions. In the case that the heat produced by the reactions is always larger than the heat absorbed by the walls, then temperature will always increase and a thermal explosion occurs.